what's the biggest disappointment for a team to potentially miss this year? Not necessarily those three, but what would be the biggest, like, oh boy, that's that's not good. Because it feels like this is a hot market, and Florida was a President's Trophy winner last year. Washington felt like just stamp them every year. I, I would say, you know what's interesting? I was talking to an NHL head coach about this yesterday afternoon. We were just, you know, BSing about whatever. Yeah, throwing those elbows around today. And he goes, you know what's amazing about – he unprompted. He said, you know what's amazing about the Calgary – Florida trade is like, and, and just frankly, Calgary in general, the off season last year is no one's happy. Everyone has gotten screwed 14 ways from a Sunday on this deal. Kachuk goes to Florida, has a great season. He gets his money. Maybe he's the only guy there that's happy in Florida saying, well, we have a game changing player, but the flames on the outside, looking in at the playoffs, Uyghur started incredibly slow. Huberto's had a miserable season. Johnny Gaudreau walks thinking that he's going to get a pile of cash and be able to go home to Philly or New Jersey and gets neither and stuck in Columbus on the 32nd place team in the league. Like Oof. this has been a, an entirely miserable experience for just about everyone involved. And I, to say which one has been more miserable than the other, it's hard to pick, but I would, I would lean on it. And as much as the, the president's trophy, you know, does or doesn't mean anything. The Flames also won the division last year. So um, it's not like they're that much better off. Um, but I would still say both those teams headed into this season thinking worst case scenario for the, the Florida Panthers, and this is coming directly from their management team, worst case scenario, we'd be battling for seventh or eighth. 